Prince Harry reads and watches everything in the press, claimed Sky Royal correspondent Rhiannon Mills as she revealed the prince once put her on the spot as he complained about one of her headlines while he was in Nepal. The Sky News reporter claimed to have been confronted by Prince Harry press office while he was in Nepal over a controversial headline on one of her articles MS Mills revealed she had to justify the UK news team for choosing to claim the prince had a meeting with five virgins. The confrontation, she claimed, made her realize Prince Harry reads and watches everything there is in the media about him at all times. She said, I suppose I for one didn't appreciate how much everything that I write or record, or broadcast, they do watch. Prince Harry once, it was one of his press team, we were in Nepal, I said is Prince Harry having a nice time? He said yes, he's having a great time but he did ask me this morning Rhiannon why your headline says Prince Harry meets five virgins. And I said well, that was a headline that was put on by the team back in the U.K. apostrophe. And he had met five young ladies and in Nepalese their title did translate into English as five virgins. But Prince Harry reads everything. He watches everything. Watch yourself. Speaking on her royal podcast, Rhiannon Mills also mentioned how the Queen is seen as the grandmother of the nation, and her death could cause a constitutional earthquake. She said, one of the reasons his mother, the Queen, has been so successful as a monarch is because she's always remained politically neutral. Charles, on the other hand, we know a great deal about what he thinks about so many different issues in life and that's why he'll be very different when he one day becomes king. What I think has been so interesting this year is around his 70th birthday, how the palace have tried to shift the image around him. So the photographs that we saw put out there was Prince Charles as the family man, as the devoted husband as the devoted father, and really the palace I think could have been trying to soften him up in people's minds. Because there are still people out there, we can't get away from it, who find it very difficult to think that he will one day be king. She added the queen was seen as the grandmother of the nation and that some would see the moment of her death as a constitutional earthquake for the country.